name is Louis Armstrong. I lived through the Great Depression, and now I would talk. We'd like to share with some of y'all some of the ups and downs of being an American, African American jazz musician of the Great Depression. Here to discuss this with me is my lovely friend and jazz singer, Miss Ella Fitzgerald. Hello, my name is Ella Fitzgerald, the first lady of jazz. During the Great Depression, my mother died and my brother died shortly after. I was 15 years old and I was very alone. I spent most of my time skipping school and eventually got caught and was sent to a reform school. Yes, the, the Great Depression was an immense tragedy that placed millions of Americans out of work. It was the beginning of a government involvement in the economy and dates through 1929 to the early 1940s. During the Great Depression, I rose at both my goals and became a great trumpet player of the Great Depression. I had trouble finding work, so I moved to Los Angeles. There, I found work and continued to make records. As African American, we also were bravely discriminated during this time. African Americans were definitely hit the hardest during this time. By 1932, approximately half black Americans were out of work. In many, in many northern cities, whites called for blacks to be fired from their jobs as long as the whites were not at work. Radical violence again became more common, especially in the South. Lynchings, which had de 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 declined to 8 in 1932, went back up and stood at 28 in 1933. When World War II came, it eventually pulled the U.S. out with the Depression, creating new jobs. A, later, a labor leader, Philip Randolph, threatened to organize mar a march on Washington to protest job discrimination and in the military and other defense-related activities. In response, President Roosevelt issued an Executive Order 8802 stating that all persons, regardless of race, creed, color, or national origin, were allowed to participate fully in defense of the United States. Living through the Great Depression was horrifying, and when times are definitely bad, people need something that can lift their spirits, and I find that my music genre definitely helped. Even though I wasn't affected greatly as many African Americans during the Great Depression, I still had a big part in it. I could bring joy to people with my music, and even though this time was a very, very poor time, people still paid for entertainment. And for the few minutes or hours that they were there, they felt happy and had hope that this terrible situation would turn back into trees of green and skies of blue and a wonderful world.